Question 7 asks you to sketch the graph of y equals to x squared minus 3x minus 10. Okay, and they want you to show clearly the axles, intercepts, and turning point. So you have these equations given, which is y equals to x squared minus 3x minus 10. So in order to prove that if there is any intercept in your x or y axis, uh, first step we need to do is that we need to sub y equals to 0. This is to find the x-intercept. Okay, so when y equals to zero, you have to factorize. Okay, you can use cross uh, method. So after that, you get x equals to minus two or x equals to five. So after you did that, you have to find what is the y-intercept. Okay, so in order to find y-intercept, you have to sub x equals to zero. Okay, so y will equals to minus 10. So from here, um, once you calculate what is x intercept, you can get the two points of x, okay, to divide by two. You add them together to divide by two to find the line of symmetry, which is like the center point. So after that, you can actually use completing the square, okay, to find what is the maximum or minimum point. So by looking at this equation, coefficient of x right is actually a positive so once you see that it's positive you know that it's a smiling face okay so you know that the curve will go upwards so once you obtain this few points here you'll be able to plot your graph so we plot x and y axis first so zero here is the origin so i start to plot my x axis first so i'll have a negative two and a five okay followed by y-intercept, which is negative 10, as well as a line of symmetry, which is x equals to 1.5. So the reason I do this is because I'm be able to plot a very smooth curve, okay? Because these are all like your pointers here that you have to hit in order to draw a smooth curve. So one, one and a half, and negative 12, one over four, this tells you that this is the minimum point, okay? Since it's actually curving upwards, you will have minimum point. So minimum point is here. Then after that, I start to plot my smooth curve, okay? Don't forget to label your curve, okay? So after that, let's look at part B. They ask you to write down the equations of line of symmetry. So you already write down and you already calculate what is the line of symmetry. Therefore, line of symmetry will be x equals to 1.5. So this is how you solve this type of typical um, sketching the graph questions.